Turning to provincial politics, Premier Doug Ford is accusing the Bank of Canada of gouging Canadians. The Premier's latest attack on the bank today follows its decision to keep interest rates where they are instead of lowering them. At the same time, Ford's government says it's going to keep its promise of delivering new detached houses in Ontario for less than half a million dollars. Al Sweeney has the story. The Premier was in Kitchener giving the city $14 million to help build new homes and accusing the Bank of Canada of blocking efforts to build housing. Yesterday's decision by the Bank of Canada to keep these key interest rates up 5% is not helping. In fact, high interest rates, they're raising the cost of mortgages, raising the cost of rent, raising the cost of living. We know that our policy actions directly affect mortgage interest costs. The Bank of Canada announced yesterday that it's leaving interest rates where they are at 5% to avoid setting off a new round of inflation. But if we lower our policy rate too early or cut too fast, we could jeopardize the progress we've made bringing inflation down. The Premier says he doesn't understand what the Bank of Canada is doing. They don't care about the economy. They don't care about people's lives. They're gouging people, absolutely gouging people right now. At Queen's Park, the opposition says Ford shouldn't be telling the Bank of Canada what to do about a very complex issue. Interest rates are tough for people, but inflation's tough for people. So, you know, we have to make, we have to trust it in, uh, in the Bank of Canada and, it, and its monetary policy. The government is also repeating a promise the Premier made in Kitchener last September at a Ford Fest event. Stay tuned, we're going to be building thousands and thousands of starter homes. The promise was similar to the Second World War plan that built houses across the country. Despite research showing the average Ontario home now costing around $870,000, Ford says he can build 1,600 square foot homes with finished basements, backyards and driveways for under 500000 The housing minister says it's going to happen. It is part of uh, the modular home uh, strategy that we're doing, uh, utilizing uh, provincially owned lands uh, to, uh, to build uh, uh, modular factory built housing. So we're still working on that. We're going to get that job done next as well. The opposition is skeptical. <laughs> you know what? The Premier completely does not understand the housing file. He is making housing worse in this province. Al Sweeney, CHCH News, Hamilton.